welcome back to the video. Today I will be showing you guys my cruise ship in Plane Crazy. Without further ado, let's get started. Before we begin, here is each level cut away from the ships. So we have the first deck, the second deck, the third deck, and the fourth deck. Okay, let's start off here in the main lobby. So this is kind of like the ship's central area. We have seating over here. We have the main desk for um, questions and stuff like that. The main dining room entrance and some seating. Over here, we have some facts about the ship. So this is called the Ocean Navigator. I started building it in January of 2024. It is 201 blocks long and it is almost 24,000 blocks in total. Okay, next we have the main dining room. So this is like the reception area, the lobby. We have a desk here for you to get your tables, some seating. And there's also a staircase for you to go up to the second level for the restaurant. So let's enter here. So this is the main floor here. We have tables, um, a big central clock here. We have the kitchen. So this is like a buffet. Um, we have some like condiments right there. If we go into the kitchen, we have some orders right here. Um, we have a grill, an oven, a deep fryer, a sink, and some shelvings with some ketchup and mustard. And don't forget about the fridge. Now the second part of the dining room is basically more of the same. We have some tables here overlooking these giant floor to ceiling windows for some great ocean views. Um, some two seating tables there along with a bunch of more tables on this side. Exiting the dining room, we could head down to the back of the ship here. We have a theater here. So if we enter here, you can also enter on the other side. So this is the theater. So we have a stage here, some stage lights, lots of seating for everyone on the ship to enjoy a nice show. Now let's exit the theater and let's enter the spa. We have a waiting room right here, a bunch of greenery, cool decorations. A little information desk and if we go into one of the spa rooms we have a spa bed and you can relax in here and get a massage now let's head to the other side here where we can go deeper into the ship so if we go all the way over here we have the pool so this is the locker rooms here um, let's go in here so there is a bench there's lockers and there's showers and if we go in here to the main pool, when this ship is spawned on water, which it isn't right now, because when I try to do that, it crashes the game, um, this will be all filled with water. So just imagine that. Okay, going down here, we have basically um, some lobby areas here. We have stairs. These stairs also go up to all of the decks. We'll go up there in a moment. Um, this ship also features an elevator. So right now the elevator is at the top floor. Uh, we'll ride that all the way back down when we're at the end of the video. But let's head to the crew restricted area. This is where all the action happens. So we have an engineering uh, quarters. Here we have a bed, some tables, TV, and we have the laundry room. So we have washing machines, uh, dirty and clean laundry bins, laundry detergents, some towels and linen, and a little table for you to fold it. Coming back here, we have more of like the engine stuff. So this is the main engine control room. This is where everything's monitored. Um, we have some gauges, we have some throttles. Basically, um, you control all of the ship's functions from here. Heading back out of there, we have the main water pump and auxiliary diesel generator. So this is in case like the main generator for all the lights breaks down. Here's that, and here's the water pump for all of the um, running water on board. Now here's the wastewater center. So like toilet water, uh, stuff like that, all gets filtered through here and pumped back in the ocean once it's clean. Now here are the main engines. So this is the main engines that generate all the power for the electric motors to turn the propellers. So we have engine number one and engine number two. Control boxes, lots of little details. Okay, let's go to the second deck. So up here we have a shopping mall, so we have a bookstore, a gift shop slash souvenir shop, um, a clothing store, and an arcade. Moving back here, we have some seating, a little bar, we have a rock climbing wall, and a soccer field. 
And this is the furthest aft point of the cruise ship. Okay, moving forward, we have even more cabins. And this is what a second level cabin looks like. So each cabin has their own TV, bed, um, and a bathroom with a bathtub and a shower. Okay, moving forward, we have the lifeboat deck. So we have uh, three lifeboats on each side, six total. Um, each could hold four people. Now over here, we are back to the main lobby, and that is all for the second deck. Okay, moving on to the third deck. So over here, we have the four suites. So these are kind of more upscale rooms. Um, here's what one of them looks like. Um, each cabin has its own private balcony, um, along with, you know, the same bathroom and stuff like that. Moving all the way up here, we go down the staircase. Here's an office for one of the crew members, and this is the captain's office. Moving over here, this is the front bow area. So if you walk up here, this is the furthest front point of the ship. And we have an anchor room. So if we come down here, this is like all the anchoring equipment. They have uh, a bunch of spools and controls for that. Okay, moving back here, we have some more cabins. This is a white and gold theme. Uh, this is the sun deck staircase. Um, here's what one of the cabins look like. They're essentially the same, it's just they just have different color schemes. Okay, moving back here, we have a little seating area. All the way back here, uh, we're back at that staircase and the elevator, and two more regular cabins, and then we're at the suites. So if we walk into here, each suite uh, mirrors each other. There's two suites. They each have their own living room, uh, two private balconies, so there's one for the bedroom and one for the living space, a giant bathroom with two sinks, a shower, and a toilet, along with two beds and a view of the wreck deck. Okay, moving up to the sun deck. This is where most of the action happens. So coming up here, um, we have our uh, bar and restaurant. Here is the funnel, and then this is the flight deck. This is where helicopters could land or planes. Uh, coming back here, so this is the bar and lounge. So we have a bar here along with a restaurant. Here's the kitchen. And then this is kind of like the funnel room. You could see all of the machinery and all of the filters and stuff like that for the exhaust system of the ship. Um, grill, sink, standard equipment like that. Um, more seating and a view of the wreck deck and the back of the ship. Okay, moving over here, we have the amphitheater. So this is called the aqua amphitheater. And this place ho hosts like shows and concerts and stuff like that. Now over here is pretty much the highlight of the entire cruise ship, the water park. So we have a water bucket, two fake palm trees, and two giant water slides. So in order to get onto the water slides, you have to go up this staircase. And let's try out the blue one. So basically, you could slide down them. Here we go. Okay, now we're sliding down the water slide. That took a couple tries, but it works pretty well when it does. So let's try the pink one. Let's get up here. Go over to the pink one. And let's try that out. Alright, pretty cool. Okay, moving over here, we have the staircase that goes back down to the third deck, and we have the lounge area. So this is towards the front of the ship. Um, we have a skylight that looks directly down to the main lobby. We have a bar here, along with a restaurant in the back, along with a bunch of sun chairs for you to soak up some sun, and more chairs over here. And if we go up here, this is deck number five. This is the highest deck on the ship. Um, it overlooks the front of the ship here, right here and the side. We have some more chairs over here and a hot tub. Okay, moving back down, if we go behind the staircase, 
we have the fun part, the bridge. So we have a little storage area right there. And here is the captain's quarters. So this is where the captain lives. Um, a desk, bed, and their own private bathroom. Along with the officers. So this one actually has a bigger bed. And a bigger bathroom with two sinks for two officers to share. Now if we go in here, here is the bridge. This is one of the best parts of the ship. We have some navigating consoles, the steering wheel, um, we have the bridge wings for you to get a nice bird's eye view of the front of the ship, more controls, a compass, and standard equipment for the bridge. Okay, before we end this video, as promised, we're going to try out the elevator. So we need to go all the way down to the back of the ship towards the funnel. And if we go in here, we can catch the elevator. So if we sit in here, oh, wrong way, we can go down to any floor we want. It's a little finicky, so there is the third floor. The second floor, and the first floor. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. This ship has been in the making for almost, actually, over four months now. And it's been tons of work and tons of fun. And you guys could do me a big favor by subscribing and liking the video. And if you have something to say, comment it down below. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.